Well, I was surprised actually to uh, hear from you because the last thing I've got is the Hall of Flame album, which is I think uh, oh, at least five, five years ago or something. Yeah, at least. Yeah. Yeah. So what have you been doing all this time? Then? Trying to get this record out. <laughs> Trying to put this band together and get out, get out on the road. So that's basically just spent a couple of years building a studio and writing material mm -hmm. and trying to put this project together. You had a studio of your own? Yes, well, that's where we recorded the album. Uh -huh. And uh, basically just doing that and then the past six months putting it together, get ready to, getting ready to tour, getting the deal here in, the, here in Europe, and uh, just getting over here and start touring it like crazy. Mm -hmm. You got a worldwide deal or just for Europe? No, just for Europe right now. Yeah. Just for Europe right now. We're working on the States, but... The music business is really screwed up there right now, so <laughs> it may take a while. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to recuperate right now from grunge, so yeah. Yeah. You know, try to kick it in the ass a little bit, see what we can do with some hard rock, you know, bring it around to a, a somewhat of a normalcy, if you can say that in rock and roll. Yeah. yeah. The way you're based, is this in uh, Seattle still or East Coast now? No, we're in uh, Seattle, basically. Yeah. A little south of there, but yeah. yeah. We don't all live around there. I live in California and mm -hmm. uh, commute up for rehearsals and studio time. Yeah. You know, whenever Kurt needs me to work. <laughs> 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 time to come up now. Yeah. You know. All right. And I'm always willing to quit my day job if need be. Yeah. <laughs> That's Whatever good. That is at the time. No. Okay. Uh, so uh, probably you didn't play uh, live uh, so many times yet? Um, about, we did about five shows in the States before we came over here. Yeah. And that was about it. So, uh, warm up shows. Yeah, some warm up shows. We're kind of getting it together now. So, by the time you guys see us, we'll be pretty good. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Tonight? Yeah. Tonight. <laughs> no, not tonight. No. <laughs> we'll rehearse and sound check. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. yeah. The tour just uh, started, but this is a major European show with about how many dates? Oh, uh, about 30, I think. Yeah. Something like that. We have about 30 shows. In 35 days. <laughs> it's pretty extensive. That's why the yeah. eyes are sagging. Yeah. Yeah. So, but hey, it's what it's all about, right? Okay, so uh, what uh, musical direction are you uh, developing to? Because the Hall of Flame was more a uh, kind of mainstream hard rock thing? Uh, yeah. I mean, no, no progressive elements? Or no. That, that was kind of a, that was pretty straightforward. That was a uh, kind of a band that happened by accident. And mm -hmm. had a lot of fun with it, but it just nothing ever happened. Yeah. You know, we did. We got the record out, and uh, then we basically, you know, did some touring with ZZ Top and Bloister Cult, and got home, and it was two years of nothing, and we could never figure out what happened. So mm -hmm. basically, time to move on. And I just decided to do this project, you know, and had met him in the process, and uh, yeah. work started working with Kirk again, Kirk Arrington, and. Uh, just decided to do a, an album and write material that would fly in the face of you know the grunge and the terrible alternative junk that's so popular in the states, and uh, wanted to bring a lot of elements like good singing, songwriting, and good sounding records, which again in the states and the things that we're subjected to is very unpopular right now, and extremely uh, frustrating for any musicians that really want to do something you know of any kind of. Yeah. Any kind of musical substance or anything. So, it was that was basic, basically my goal with this record. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, how are the reviews? So far, the reviews have been extremely good, and that is really that's amazing. I mean, I didn't know how well this album was going to be received. I know a lot of people were expecting a metal church record, and it's it's not it's not a metal church record. Mm -hmm. It's not not even really heavy metal. It's hard rock. You know, with a lot of 70s influence. All the keyboards on this record are real. There's no samplers. There's no digital anything. There's no computers, there's no sequencers. All this stuff is played by humans yeah. and will be played by humans till the day I die. And no, it's all real. It's real Hammond, real Mellotron, real analog synthesizers, yeah. Yeah, and humans. Definitely no industrial influence. No industrial influence, <laughs> and absolutely, disco still sucks. <laughs>
For anybody out there that has the album, you'll recognize this next one. It's called Bleed. 